welcome to Smallmouth Crush, and that's what we're going to do on this episode. We are going to crush some monster smallmouth bass up on Lake Ontario, Thousand Island, St. Lawrence River. It's going to be epic. This is going to be a good one. Word on the street. I have never fished a tournament where I only had three rods on the day. This is the first time. Jeez. First time. Why do I only have three? It's only got three spin rods. That's it. So. All right. I feel like I'm looking at probably 26 pounds. I'm looking at about 25. Mm -hmm. You should bump it up. About 18. 18. 18 and three fish. Wow. Dang. That's a better average That's than hopes. Hey guys, welcome to Smallmouth Crush. I uh, decided to jump into a tournament today on the St. Lawrence River, uh, Clayton, New York. So uh, should be should be a good day. We'll uh, we'll see what happens. Have the video cameras going all day for you guys, and hopefully get some good footage. Uh, Lucas, uh, Lucas is joining us. He's already out there. He's boat 20 on boat 60, being at two, three, ten. All right, just got through uh, checking. We're heading out. Got being at three ten. Didn't have enough co anglers today, so I'm fishing solo. It's kind of weird. I haven't fished a. Uh, Voter, non voter, by myself before. The good news is they can't catch my fish. The bad news is I gotta land them myself, which which will be fine. They've been staying hooked this week for me. I'm not too worried about that. Solid. So at this point in the morning, this is my third five pounder and it's still pretty early. So things are looking up. This guy's pretty big. This one's uh, pushing six pounds. It's gonna be a crucial fish. It'll be my fourth fish. I definitely need to get this guy in the boat. So I don't know exactly what happened there. Uh, a lot of times they bite, they're biting really light and they just shoot straight up and you gotta try oh. to keep up with them. And I just didn't have a good hook in them. So here is uh, what would have been my fifth five pounder. Uh, but unfortunately I, I'm still looking for that fourth fish. This guy's solid, and he's going to definitely help the bag out today. Now the fish is not injured here. Uh, what happens is they're shooting, they're coming straight up from 30 feet of water and uh, they're bleeding a little bit around their gills. Um, it's pretty common in fish around the Great Lakes. Uh, you put them in a live well and you 
take them back to weigh in and they do swim off okay. It's just a little, a little gory, but the fish is fine. At this point, I had to make a move. Uh, you can see off to my left, there's some charter fishermen that actually fish for smallmouth bass and keep them, unfortunately. Um, they wreck them out there in their uh, charters, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I tend to, I don't keep bass at all. Uh, here's my fifth fish. And so things are really looking good now. fish will fight and fight and fight they come up really quick you got like a three second opportunity if it's close to the boat to scoop them when they first come up then they'll dive down and it's like a six to eight to ten minute fight at times You can see the uh, guys fishing in the background. They're just out there for fun, having a good time. Um, I'm just fishing real small little areas the size of your front of your boat deck uh, that these fish are holding on, making precise casts to that. So it was really non-stop. I didn't put all the fish catches that I had, but I had uh, multiple, three or four solid bags of 20 plus pounds. Uh, but a lot of them were four, four and a half, ones that you would just love to have in certain tournaments. But um, these guys weren't helping me at all. And I kind of stuck around there for a little bit and decided to, to make a run and try to find some more bigger, you know, six plus pound fish that would really put me over the top. Uh, I ended up losing two of those uh, solid, you know, mega bass already, and I'm sitting decent, but I really wanted to get closer to that 26, 27 pound mark if I could, and so it was time to uh, just stick her out here a little bit longer, and I knew that I just, I couldn't waste all this time fighting these fish. I mean, it's literally eight to ten minutes to fight a four pounder out here and I was just wasting too much time I had to get out of here shortly so hopefully looking back I should be leaving right now I think I stuck around a little bit too long I mean it was fun I can't complain I was using that Gajo spirit chat if you guys are serious about drop shot and fish uh, you know the Great Lakes or any northern body of water that spirit chat is the deal it is legit it's put all these fish in the boat today, um, as well as a little bit of hair, but that was definitely the deal for me in this turn. That's 
sir. Yes. So I made a, a move, about a 20 mile move, uh, a little bit closer back to the launch ramp, and I found some of these fish in practice, and it was basically a sight fishing deal. You can see it got real calm and slick. If the sun was out, it would have been incredible. But I spotted a giant, and I was able to, uh, I guess not here, I'm getting the heck out of this zone. Coming up, I spotted a giant, and I really, really wish that fish would have cooperated for me, because that certainly would have put me over the top. Giant. All right, that one's gonna hurt. So I had to head back into the river. I had about 45 minutes left and thought, you know what? I got a solid bag. Let's do a little pre-practice in here in the river. And I was just kind of casting along a drop and actually hooked up with a decent one. Again, they're, they're biting so crazy, so light. And then they shoot up so fast that uh, this one actually spit the hook on me as well. But it kind of keep me in to a possible area that I need to explore in the next couple days uh, when I want to get ready for that Costa event coming up. back. I'm going to at least give myself a couple minutes to spare. Alright guys, so we got back. It was a tough day. Um, um, but, uh, we'll find out tough day have. meaning, you know, I lost three that were, were well in the six pound range. I guess looking back, it was a pretty good day. <laughs> Awesome, thanks guys. All right, Lucas ended up coming in a little bit early. He was the first flight to weigh in. He had over a 20 pound bag, so I think he's gonna be sitting pretty good as well. Fourth place with 20.21 pounds. 
put something special in his rod locker and he didn't even open his rod locker all day. No. Uh, just so you know, um, Matt and I put a blow-up doll in his compartment, his rod locker compartment yesterday. Matt's? Yeah, and he had his spinning rods on deck and I was hoping he was going to pull it. Yeah. And he hasn't done it yet, so really? how can we make this funny? I don't know. I mean, you can hide your GoPro inside of it. it well, right? I think we just say, hey, I wanted to have him do it outside, yeah. like when he was fishing with the co uh, But he obviously didn't open his rod compartment at all because he didn't say anything. Really? It's awesome looking, dude. It's like, it's just sitting in there. I know, but it'd be funny if he was out fishing. That we're going to put in his rod locker tomorrow during the tournament, maybe in the morning or when he gets to his spot. I hope he don't open this up until his co-angler gets in the boat. His co is going to freak out. This is funny. Why am I gonna blow it up? I don't know. You should blow it up. You're probably more used to it. <laughs> what are we gonna do with the box? It's gonna take a lot of air. Yeah. You blow it up. All right, you know what? Sometimes you gotta pull pranks on your buddies. And I thought this was gonna be pretty good, especially if he was actually out, got to his spot, opened his rod locker and out pops this thing. His co-angler would be like, what is going on? But unfortunately, he never opened his rod locker. He used three rods that were on deck all day. I can't believe we're even doing this. It was funny. It was going to be really funny, but uh, we'll try. We'll think of something. We'll think of something real good for the next event. What a day. You got blow up dolls. You got a first place win on the ABA Ram series. You got a fourth place finisher, Lucas. What more do you want? What an epic day. Hey, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. If you could comment and like below, let me know what you think. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the water.